uh, variable c. So I combine these two equations. Um, let's go ahead and combine uh, how about the first and second equations. Now I'm going to need to multiply this by 7 and multiply that by negative 2. So I get a positive 14c and a negative 14c which will cancel the c's by using these two equations. So what was that again? We did 7 times equation 1. This will be 35a plus 49b plus 14c equals to a large number. Okay, so 7 times 8419 is 58,933. And now we're going to multiply the second equation by negative 2 so that we can cancel off the positive 14c. So negative 2 times equation 2 will be minus 6a and then minus 10b minus 14c equals to uh, let's see, that would be negative 18,018, wouldn't it? All right. So, if we combine these equations together, the C's will cancel. We'll get uh, 29A plus 39B equals to, subtract my 18,018, 40,915. There we go. Okay, um, so I have this equation and that equation that I want to combine together in order to eliminate a variable. And it uh, looks like if I take 39, I'll do this in ready so it shows up a little bit better. If I multiply this equation by negative 39, that will allow me to cancel the b pretty quickly. And so negative 39 times negative 5 is, um, I don't know, big number, uh, minus 195, I think. 5 times 39, positive 195 because we're multiplying two negatives. So 195a minus 39b equals 2, and then I have negative times a negative is a positive, negative 39 times 1547 is 60,333. Okay, so we're going to combine, add these two equations together so that the b's cancel, and we get 224a equals 2, that would be uh, 8, uh, 4, 12, 1, 10, 101,248. So here's a big moment of truth. I'm going to divide both of these by 224, and I should get the answer for A. So 101, 248, divided by 224 is 452, exactly. So A equals to 452. Alright, so let's hang on to that piece of information there. And substitute it back into one of these equations so I can solve for another letter. Probably the easiest equation is this one right here. So I'm going to erase the stuff below here so we can fit it. And uh, we'll be able to figure out what letter B is. Okay, so if I plug this in to that equation, I'm ignoring the minus 39 now because that was used in a different step of the problem. Alright, so I have minus 5 times 452 plus B equals to minus 1547. All right, so multiplying that out, I think that's, I don't know what that is, times negative 5 is minus 2260 minus 2260 plus B equals to minus 1547. Now I'm going to add 
2260 to both sides and we'll have solved for B. So this would be 2260 minus 1547 is 713. So B is 713. Finally, we need to solve for what? C. Okay, so let's go for probably the smallest numbers. How about the equation 1? So now I'm going to fit this information into equation 1. And I need to do a little erasing. Okay. Um, so we have uh, 5 times 452 plus 7 times 713 plus 2C equals to 8,419. All right, I'm going to clean up my, my 8 here. That's better. All right. Um, I think this was 2260, wasn't it? 5 times 452 is 2260 plus probably 4991. You know, I just want to check that just to make sure. 7 times 713 is 4,991. Okay. Plus 2C equals to 8,419. Um, if I add these two numbers together, I get 7,251 plus 2C equals 8,419. Now I'll subtract this number from both sides. 2C would be 8,419 minus 7,251. I, I hope you realize that the, the steps I'm taking are really essentially no different from smaller problems with smaller numbers. Same process. You know, I'm using a calculator to help, help uh, go, make it go faster. All right, so 8,419 minus 7,251 is 11,000, I'm sorry, 1,168. Divided by 2, C equals to 584. Exactly. All right, so we have the numerical answers to the problem. And uh, now I'm going to write the answer. I need to make some room to write the answer. Um, well, maybe I can fit it in here. All right, they can produce, let's see, 452 um, bottles of mix A, 713 bottles of mix B, and 584 bottles of mix C. All right, well, there we go. And um, the problem is, it's basically done. I'm going to check myself. And I'm going back to my information I wrote down since it's all been erased up there. There were five uh, ounces per bottle in mix A of, orange, of apple juice. So five times 452 is 2,260 ounces of apple juice in mix A. To that I add uh, 713 uh, bottles times the 7 ounces in mix B and add, um, let's see, 584 bottles times the 2 ounces in mix C and I get 8,419 ounces of apple juice. And uh, because I, I made up this problem, I knew what answers I was supposed to get. I know the rest of them are going to work, but that's how you would check it. Go back to the original words of the problem and substitute it in, use your calculator if you need to, and, um, and there you have it. So that's um, a big problem, but, but I wanted you to see this to realize that it's the same type of process as, as many of these uh, simultaneous equation word problems are.